Hello, my dear. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator, voice for your loved ones. How are you today? Uh, don't need to explain this to you, but I do like to remind people this is not an exact science. So sometimes you got to stretch it outside the box a little bit. There's always a reason for whatever they show or say, but we don't always get all the details. So we're going to talk to Grandma today. And uh, Grandma comes in with this, like, warm, loving, soft um, energy. Very lovable. She, um, she has kind of like this knowing, she had, she had this knowing about her, um, more like, more like an empath, and I'm not sure you know what an empath is, I'm an empath too, um, I can sit down next to somebody and I know what they're feeling, I know what, why they're hurting, what I need to say usually, um, I don't want to say that. Um, I can just, I can feel their energy. I just know. I just, I just know what they're feeling. I know what they're depressed about or hurting about or, and grandma just, she just knew. She knew when she would set one of you on her lap. She just knew what was wrong, how to fix your inside boo-boo. She says, your inside boo-boo. She has nothing but warm, fuzzy feelings about you. Just loved you to pieces. She says you were a special child. Let's see if she says special in what way, or if she just felt like you were special. But you had kind of a connection with her that maybe she didn't have with all the other ones. You could snuggle up on her lap and she would read you a book. She said she she says she spent a lot of her last days just reminiscing about when everybody was younger and in the family being around and stuff and um you were always a bright spot in her memories she always got a twinkle in her eye when she thought of you she loves you very much There's something special she used to cook for you, make for you when you came around. Let's see if she's going to show me what it is. It must be more than one thing because she's showing me not only something in the oven, but something on top of the stove. She says you thought she made the best gravy. I don't know that that's your favorite thing, but she's mentioning that. And she's showing like bread and gravy. I love bread and gravy. <laughs> I thought something about, and I don't even make that good stuff anymore. I get it out of a package and she's showing me, well, that's how we had to make it back then. We didn't have, uh, stuff in a package how the scrapings out of the pan you know the grease and the stuff to make start making the, the start for the gravy that's good stuff fried chicken big old pile of mashed potatoes with the gravy that looks more like brown gravy though
and some kind of fresh baked rolls or bread out of the oven. So maybe she's a, maybe that's your favorite meal. I don't know, but that's what she's showing. Anyway. <laughs> she says, Grandpa's right here. And she says, he's still kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> and he shoots her a dirty look. <laughs> well, not real dirty, not real mean, but like like one of those sideways looks. Like, stop it. <laughs> She's cute. She's showing that she used to like to, when you were little, 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 she used to like to stroke your hair, stroke your head. And give you a kiss on top of the head. Probably while you were sitting in her lap. She says, I know, but I always had things to do. She's saying that when your wife left... That grandma was one of them waiting for her. Doesn't matter if they knew each other or not. It was more of a comfort thing to you. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> more of a comfort thing to you, even though you didn't know it. A comfort thing to you because she was going to make sure that she got where she needed to go. That uh, she felt like she needed to be there for that. Grandpa was standing behind her and a little ways back. There was quite a few there. Now, Grandma's talking about an ant. I believe she's talking about your aunt. I don't think she's talking about her aunt. You wouldn't have known her aunt. Probably. I'm guessing. She's talking about an aunt. An aunt that's there with her. Uh, we, we really stink at names, but the aunt's name could have started with an M, too. And she showed me that M, and then she's saying, moving on, moving on. Everybody spreads out. Not that we don't see each other, but we have our own things that we need to go do and learn. So when we come down here, this is actually kind of like a school. We learn things here. Our soul, our spirit learns things here to help evolve us higher, higher, higher. Even when we go back, we learn things. There's still we've still got more learning to do, more, more stripping off the heavy crap, um, so we can evolve higher. Okay, Grandma's holding a very small baby. They get to hold us before we come, and they get to hold us if we leave early. I can't, usually I can tell instantly um, whether this one has been here or coming here. She says been here. So somebody's lost a, somebody lost a baby, an infant. Would be related to grandma in some way. And she is now holding it with a lot of love. So she wants somebody to know that she, and it, you know, even if somebody had a miscarriage, it's the same thing.
Let me help you. She wants to wrap like a blanket of comfort, of of love. Of, like she's showing a literal blanket, but it's. I don't want to say this. Um, like when I'm walking down the river, and I see somebody sitting there that looks really sad, I'll put a I'll visualize putting a pink blanket of love around them or a pink bubble around them for love. So this is what Grandma's doing. She wants to wrap that energy around you like snugly warm of love, comfort, ease, peace, tranquility. She says no more horse shit. Don't know what she's referring to. Go deep within your heart and find the love that's still there. Don't lose it. Don't harden your heart. Don't cover it up. Keep that feeling of love. Even when it hurts. That's the most important thing in the world is the love. Turn the TV off sometimes. Don't feed into that malarkey. It's poisonous. It does nothing but instill fear. And it damages the love in your heart. Very smart lady. I've never heard it put that way. Find some time for yourself. Even though the tears come when you do. You need that peace. That love. That love for yourself. Will help you keep the love for others. I like what she's saying. You've got a special gift. When it comes to spreading love. So don't let it get damaged. It will all come to light. Eventually. <laughs> I like how they've all been talking slower lately so I can keep up. She said, I'm still taking care of others. That's always been my job. Somebody just touched me right here. I felt my hair move. So, uh, and it's, yeah, they always make me itch when they get close. One of these days, maybe we'll figure out how to stop that. So I don't look like I have bugs. <laughs> So anything that happens to me during a reading while I'm doing it is for you. So I don't know what your hair looks like. I have no clue what you look like. So if you just feel that little, like something went boom, and I felt my hair move, know that that'll be grandma. She said it's kind of like kissing you on top of the head. Wouldn't it be wonderful to go back to the simple life? She says, most of you have too much hustle and bustle to go back to when I was younger, the simple life. No mechanics, 
I don't think she means car mechanics. I think she means mechanical stuff. I think she means electronic stuff. No phone ringing all the time. Fresh air. Hard work. Family. And a lot of love. Think about the basics of life. Now she's making me itch. And you know, actually, she's right. Um, think about back in her day and didn't have all this hustle bustle, this constant ringing and, and chiming and dinging. And of course, I do it. I don't ever get away from my phone, but we didn't have all that feeding into us. She's right. Just what she says, think about it. She just wants you to think about how that life really was, even though we have the modern day stuff now, because that is actually what's important in life is nature, the basics, the love, the family, the, the feeling, the uh, fresh air instead of all the concrete and metal buildings. She says she doesn't like sky, skyscrapers. Put your feet in the dirt. Now, I don't, okay, I don't know if you've ever heard about grounding and shielding. Go to YouTube. There's plenty of videos on uh, grounding. And a lot, of, a lot of times when they talk about grounding, they actually tell you to go out, get barefoot, and wiggle your feet in the dirt. It grounds you. It grounds your energy. It, and, boy, I don't do it. I need to do it myself. But it literally calms your energy. It grounds you to Mother Earth. That's what she's talking about. Sticking your feet in the dirt. <laughs> go out and get dirty and eat a fresh carrot out of the garden even if it has a little dirt on it she's showing a little boy and I'm assuming it's you gnawing on a carrot that he just pulled out of the garden my grandson did that once dirt and all didn't hurt him she said we didn't worry about the germs back then life was Hardy, H-E-A-R-T-Y. -H Hard, but hardy. So get back to basics. At least think about it. When things start, when the hustle and bustle gets to be too much. Grandma quit making me itch. So as I'm sitting here listening to her, my left ear starts ringing. Now I have tinnitus. That's in both ears. When it's one ear, usually it's a low-grade ring. Just in one ear. The higher it gets, archangels are like really high-pitched because their energy is a lot higher. So you'll you'll get that ringing in one ear, and it's it could be loud, but. Uh, That'll be Grandma trying to get your attention. Validate her, acknowledge her, tell her you love her. Ask her to bring you more signs that she's bringing her love around if you want it. It's up to you. And okay, so... I ask her for signs, and she's she's only going to bring love, really loving signs. She's not going to bring anything that's going to scare you or tapping on the walls or anything. But hers is like a whole mixture of kitchen smells. So when you walked into her house and she was fixing a meal for everybody, and you had all of those glorious smells of those at home cooked meal, 
probably the chicken frying. I don't think it's going to be any one smell because I'm just seeing the smell swirling around. So, you know, and our grandmas back in that day, they were always cooking. That was their job. So I don't think you're going to get just one particular smell. I think you just, just imagine what that smell was when you walked into her house. That's the smell you're going to get. You might get a little whiff of it. You, it might, could fill your room. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> one time for two weeks in a row, every morning I woke up and I smelled chocolate chip cookies. Never figured out who was here. But it was somebody trying to get my attention. So no, when you smell that whatever the smell was when you walked into her house when she was cooking a meal, cooking a big meal for everybody. You can be in the store, you can be outside, you can be in your car, doesn't matter where you're at. Tell her you love her. She's trying to bring you comfy, loving signs. Ask her. Ask her to bring you love and comfort. Peace. Ask her. Because like I said before, she cannot override your free, they can't override our free will choice. So ask and then allow her, if that's what you want. Totally up to you. <laughs> I have no idea what she means, but she says, like a hayseed cowboy. And I'm kind of hearing Rhinestone Cowboy, but she's saying like a hayseed cowboy. But I'm hearing the song Rhinestone Cowboy that, uh, what was it, Glenn Campbell sang. Okay, so she's showing me Grandpa again, but he's, he's in the back. He's not, uh, he's not stepping forward. Probably because it's not his time to step forward. The ant. But there's somebody else there, but I can't quite catch them. Well, I'm not catching them, but <clears throat> I can't tell who it is. But they're, they're making their energy known. They're letting me know they're there, but I can't even see if it's male. feel anything, if it's male or female. Let's see if they're going to step forward a little bit. It's a male. I don't. Did. Okay. Did you have an uncle that's passed, but he felt maybe more like a father? Because I'm getting mixed energy here. Felt more like a father. Maybe he did things for you like a father would, or gave you advice like a father would. So that I always tell people that relationships aren't always about blood. A little bit of a belly on him. I can't really see his face. He's stepping forward just enough to let me know he's there. Almost had to drag him out. But he wants you to know he's there with Grandma. You're a fine boy. He's calling you a fine boy. If I any. The whole group, including your wife, is, well, they're saying hell bent. Hell bent on bringing you peace and love and comfort. They're all working on finding a way to bringing that energy to you, the peace and the calm. So you have a whole team. <clears throat> so call on them. And you don't have to know exactly, know which one it is. Um, call on your, just say team, my team. That's what I say in the mornings. I, I kind of name my team, but 
I know most of the players on my team. Actually, my team starts with God, Jesus, Mother Mary. So I've got a big, long list of team. But this little team here, this uncle-like figure, Grandpa, even though he's staying in the back, Grandma, your wife, the aunt. There's another female making herself known, but she's not going to step forward. And probably not going to, so it doesn't matter. Ask for this team to help you with that. And then allow them to. And you'll be surprised what happens. There's a whole lot of love for you in that group. One of the guys said, we've got your back. It will get better. We're going to show you. This is coming from one of the males. I don't think it's Grandpa. I think it's this this other male. And we can help you with the younger one. Literally ask them because they cannot. Oh, I know I probably said this 10 times already. Cannot override your free will choice. But if you ask them and open that door and allow them to help, you'll be amazed. I tend to block them out. And I know better. I forget to ask. I actually used to every morning. Okay. Yeah, I hear you. Make a list. And I always said, eh, five things. What would I like? What would I like today in my life? You know, and write it down. I put it on my computer. And I haven't done it for a few days. I kind of got out of the habit. But anyway, write it down. What would you like brought to you? Um, I tried $10 million. That didn't work. <laughs> I tried. I figured, hey, if you're going to go, go big. But uh, put it more about the heart, about about your piece. Um, don't make it real detailed. They'll bring it to you the best way for you. In ways that you cannot see for yourself. And it truly works because I just manifested something that way. That I've been asking for the last year or so. Anyway. But if you if you write it down. That way, like my head is always going 100 miles an hour. And I'm always going, no, I want it over there. No, I want that. No, no. I, no, no. But if I, if you write it down and say, I want peace this way, bring me comfort, bring me. They want to do it in that category. Um, bring me signs. Ask them. And that, anyway, where I was going with that, that's what grandma was asking me to say. Ah! <laughs> My tongue's getting tied. When you write it down, then all this scrambled up, and you may not have that. I do. Then they know exactly what it is that you want to feel or what you want or because it's written down in black and white where it doesn't jump around like my head jumps around. And I don't feel like your head jumps around like that, like mine does. But anyway, Grandma said, go ahead and do it that way. And do, do it every day if you can. Grandma is practically yelling. She throws her arms up. I love you. I love you. Let me, let me love you. Allow me to love you. We are all warm. We are comfy. We are together. We are at peace. We are here to help you. We are here to guide you. Nurture you. Help you over 
the rough spots and they're showing like a big boulder like you're trying to get over this boulder don't doubt us uh, grandma just said the worlds are getting closer and I've been hearing that a lot lately the worlds are actually getting their world and our world we're getting closer Grandma's blowing you kisses because she's like, I got to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. And she's just kind of doing it real fast. I want to get that in. Let me put my lipstick on and give you a big old kiss on the cheek so I can leave red on your lip, on your cheek. <laughs> she's a sweetheart. Okay, with that, with that, they're all leaving. Okay, much, much love to you, my dear. Um, talk to Grandma. Ask her to bring you the peace. She wants to work on that part of your life to help you. So uh, allow her to, if that's your free will choice, whether you want to or not. Much love to you, my dear. Thank you for allowing me to be her voice. She's a sweetheart. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator, voice for your loved ones. See you later.